Hi, good morning and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, August 14th, 2023. My name is Giovanni Betancourt, Analyst, Trader and Educator with Vantage Market. Alrighty then, so let's take a look at what we're going to be uh, seeing ahead uh, for the week. Uh, some of the big companies that are going to be uh, reporting this week are going to be Depot, Walmart, Target, uh, these companies will provide further insight as to the health and well-being of the consumer in this higher rate environment. Also, this week, uh, keep an eye on the uh, some companies on the earnings calendar, including Cisco, uh, their company. Uh, they will be closely watched. Also, keep an eye on the four major U.S. equity indices this week. The S&P 500, Dow, Nasdaq, and Russell are pulling back from highs uh, for the years to tell their respective 50-day moving averages. You know, we're going to look at that in, in a moment. So right now we're looking at the NASDAQ and see how, the, let's, let's just drop in there and a small moving average. Uh, okay. Let's, let's do a smooth 50 period. And let's do that red. I already changed that. So you can see it. Let's use white. All right. So we're seeing that the uh, Nasdaq the last really week has been bouncing off its 50-day moving average. So we are typically in a downtrend for the Nasdaq. We have obviously traded below our support. So now let's bring that psychological that we were talking about last week. 15,000 that will be our next support and let's use the high of Friday that week as our resistance okay so in the RSI we're seeing how we are trading below 50 towards the four, below 40 so we're basically in a nice nice downtrend okay let's see if at the end of the week we have met or by the middle of the week, we have met this low made on June 26th. That double bottom made almost on June 26th. So that could be our target. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, S&P as well as at that 50 day. That's moving, moving average. And let's just add the uh, period input 50 periods let me see that how that is also above the market so showing us that downtrend also let's do it and the Dow 50 white all right so the Dow's a bit different though all right so the Dow actually the Dow is right it is it's working perfectly that's why it's supposed to be working you now you join us that resistance level you see how it's it's horizontal so that area around that that or that that average is going to be resistance obviously so we right now we could probably indicate come and find opportunities of buying the dip in the down if those companies that i, that I mentioned uh, come out report good they're, they're trading the Dow. All right, so let's go take a look at the uh, crude oil. All right, so crude oil, you know, it traded above 83, almost almost hit the 84 marker on Friday. From there, it really has pulled back strongly to the downside. $80 will be that psychological support number for it. It's close by to a nice a previous area of support, of volume, volume node right here. So we could probably use that that area as support. And the findings where the market is going to rebound is quite complicated. But this is a speculative uh, business, so we try to use the odds and try to find that area of better trader trading abilities. All right, so let's take a look at Nat Gas. Well, Nat Gas on Friday really just was flat. It did flip to the upside to the downside. It kind of came in close, close higher, a harish than what it 
when it opened on Friday today, we've seen that it's kind of same fluctuation. So will we expect a you know fluctuation, you know, fluctuation to the downside? Most likely, and that most likely will be because if the dollar index is moving higher, which it, last time I looked, it was, it will put pressure, making it more expensive to buy. So probably we probably see a, reach, you know, a, a pullback, or I'm just, I'm just looking at this a repeat of this area right here, or this or, or this, this zone right here. So keep that in mind. Then we have gold. All right, so gold 1900 is going to be that support level for it. I think, uh, and that that should bring the RSI closer to being oversold. So, you know, you can wait for the market to come down all the way down to 1900 and, and speculate buyers around this area so it could drive the market the price a bit higher. Or, just come in and, and you know, sell it now and just uh, be, you know, be careful, obviously. But, well, one thing we do is, you know, just obviously follow the trend, which is pushing to the downside. And the dollar index would likely be moving higher. All right, so silver has been flattish, a uh, very, very small volume. Uh, this has entered into a, a very nearly moment, any moment now I could do a breakout. All right, so we can uh, come in and say that if the, if the sell-off, the momentum to the downside was so strong. Why did it stop here, right? It could have stopped here just just to, for trap, you no know, profit taking, right? Better positioning and continue the, the movement to the downside, which is what happened on Friday. But on Friday, there was one because it was the weekend, and second, there was very just very small trading, very small volume of trading in that in, on that day. So then, both sides just really you know, you know faded out. Or uh, they just they just waiting for some news uh, to come out, and then just take the price back up to the upside, or we'll continue to move to the downside. And a lot of that will happen if our index plays a big role in it, which it does. As in this copper, copper is trading to 370. So I'm having my support 360, 67, right? And then my resistance is 380, but I'm gonna. Bring it down to about this level right here. Okay, 377. Then Bitcoin is also just waiting for something. Bad news today: the uh, there was an, a in, a Bitcoin ETF waiting for a regulatory improvement, and then it got delayed. So that wasn't good uh, for the cryptos. So let's see what happens. If I'm out of, I'm, I'm not trading it. Then we have the currencies. Okay, so the, the euro is about to break our support that we have here. So let's just move lower, look to the left, and see which is our next lower candle, which will be this one, the wick. We could use the body, but I like to use the wick. So that's our next point where support will probably be found. Then we have the pound. So let's use this area right here for the pound. Let's move trend lower because the dollar index is just making let's move the, the resistance to this levels right around here. And let's see if it continues to push higher. On your side you're getting close to being an overbought, so that could be one of those cases. If we do see that the dollar index continues to move higher, then we're going to continue to see a downside movement on the uh, indices, on the uh, crude oil, gas, not gold, metals, and the currencies. Have a good trading day, and I will see you tomorrow.